Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th. I think it's around the 16th. Me, I think I don't even know what the date is. I still don't have the. It's still on May. <laughs> so my camera's on. So I don't know. Timing is fluid. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. Okay. Major completion. This is leaving something behind the end. This is the end of a journey. It's the end of a chapter, an accomplishment. It could be a graduation. Um, you know, it's the end of something that was very prominent in your life. It could be a marriage, a relationship that taught you a lesson because this is a lesson learned. There could be some travel in the near future. This is nothing to be ashamed of. This is a card of evolution. Somebody has evolved. They have evolved. There's, they are not ashamed. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is stepping into the future, stepping into a new life, a new existence, saying goodbye to the past. It is because this is the end, last card. So this is the end of a journey of some sort, right? I mean, it is. It's a major completion, accomplishment. The world is also a card of freedom and success. This is successful completion of a life lesson. It is. And this life lesson could have to do with self-esteem, maybe. You know, you know, this person is, is naked. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, this is leaving the past behind. So we have somebody here that is stepping into a new existence. That is the victory wreath. So this is a victory. They have successfully completed this phase of their life. They've learned something. It's kind of like congratulations, congratulations. You did it, that kind of thing. Major completion. Ace of Swords reversed. Now the Ace of Swords reversed is oh, typically not taking a new approach, not waking up, no communication, dishonesty, not being honest. Somebody's not, they may not be communicating, they may not be giving their power away. You know, because upright is the, is the sort of power, is the sort of truth. There's some sort of dishonesty here or lack of awakening. So something about not waking up or not communicating. King of Cups right next to it. King of Cups is given to act on feelings. You know, that's a very feeling individual. Three of Cups reversed on the bottom. That is emotional, lack of emotional growth, termination, parting ways, parting ways from a friend or a family. It, there's no emotional growth. There's uh, gossip. This could, you know, tens are the world card is more than just a ten. It's a big ending, okay? This is a major ending. It's a, the universe. The, the tower and the universe, or the tower and the world are both universe cards. So this is a universal ending. Three of Cups reversed is not happy. Okay, it's not happy. There's nothing left to celebrate. There's no reason. This is a lack of emotional growth. There's, there's gossip. There's, there's enemies. 
parting ways, parting ways from friends or family, separating. King of Cups, emotional, emotional dishonesty. <laughs> Right next to the Ace of Swords, I was clarifying that Ace of Swords reverse. So we have somebody here that, oh, Queen of Cups reversed on the bottom. That And I just looked down. This is emotional dishonesty. Somebody that is emotionally, emotions all over the place. I feel like we have some heartbreak here, just being honest. We do have an individual that is following their heart. They're using their intuition. Six of Pentacles, reverse, lack of reciprocation, not getting what they deserve. Somebody hasn't been uh, getting the communication or the reciprocation that they deserve six of pentacles reversed is a is imbalance and next to the ace of swords reversed it's like mentally imbalanced there's there's somebody here that is i don't know i'm giving up oh three of swords three of swords is heartache heartbreak Heartbroken. Oh my God, I can't believe this has happened. Take a look at that. That's like wallowing. This is suffering. We got somebody here that is suffering. They are suffering greatly. And they're suffering because I don't know if there's some sort of... Well, the world card is a major completion. This is somebody that is leaving something behind. They have learned their lesson. Could be about self-worth. It's a major life lesson. Whatever they learn, there's no communication from this individual. Hasn't been reciprocating. Hasn't been giving what they need. It's been one-sided. There's some one-sidedness. This is heartbreaking. There is some sort of heartbreak here. This is, oh my God, stabbed right in the heart. Somebody may receive some sort of information. It's not good news. This isn't fair. Three of Cups now. Now that's Three of Cups is some sort of celebration in the upright. That is getting together, socializing. There could be an upcoming celebration. Somebody may be uh, receiving something that they do not expect at an upcoming celebration. We have somebody here that has been suffering. They have been suffering. They have been in a lot of pain. They have been. They haven't been able to give. They haven't been able to communicate. They haven't been able to follow their heart. Maybe because there is a third party, a third party situation. That could be anybody, okay? A third party situation doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a mother. It could be a sister. It could be a child. It could be anything. We have somebody here that is really in their feelings. Could be over a loss of communication. King of Swords. Now that is an Eight of Swords reversed. An obstacle is being removed. We have an individual that is going to be stepping outside of their comfort zone. They've been lying to themselves. They've been deceiving themselves. They've been in some sort of denial. Now they see the truth with the King of Swords. That is somebody that is very factual, very intelligent, very smart, very discerning. I believe there is a message is, that is coming. There is a message that is coming that is, uh, it may be hard to hear, okay, just being honest. Um, 
we have somebody that is making a decision. They are definitely in decision making mode because of that King of Swords is a decision maker. This is somebody that is in a position of authority that is taking a stand that is making an, a decision that I feel like it's a difficult decision. I feel like they're using their heart more than they would have in the past. I feel like this person did not communicate. Uh, maybe they had some sort of lesson to learn. Maybe that's what it looks like. Anyway, Six of Pentacles reversed is not receiving, not receiving what they need. Somebody has not been receiving what they need, the communication or something like that. King of Swords. King of Swords is an individual. It is a person that is taking charge. This person is a leader. This is a leader. We could have two people here. We could have two people here. We have somebody that has not been receiving what they deserve. Maybe it's from a, I don't know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Because we have the King of Cups with the Six of Pentacles right underneath it. They haven't been receiving what they deserve. They haven't been getting what they deserve. And maybe it's because there's a third party. Somebody else is getting the attention. But we have a King of Swords here that sees things very clearly. This is somebody that has clarity, that knows the truth, that sees the truth. This is somebody that is very intelligent, very, very sharp. It looks to me as though this person knows what they want. They, they've come to some sort of conclusion. They're about ready to make a decision Something is going to get taken away. The Six of Pentacles. Something is going to get taken away. Six of Pentacles reversed. This King of Swords is taking something away. There's been a lot of dishonesty. There's been no communication. There's been uh, no reciprocation. I feel like we have an individual that is, is going to be socializing. They're going to be getting together with another person that is very honest and upfront and knows what they want. They've been dealing with somebody that is in their emotions that doesn't know what they want. This person does is emotionally withdrawn, doesn't communicate, doesn't give. And, and we, have, we have an individual that is about to take it away. They're about to take it away, you know. Something's about to be taken away. King of Swords is, is, it could be a judge, it could be a judge or a boss or somebody is making a decision based on what they see. That's what I see. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that is no longer going to give to an individual that isn't communicating as well. I'm not going to give anything to you. Something is being taken away. We do have, we, something is definitely being taken away. We have an individual whose gut and intuition is telling them that there's some sort of dishonesty as well. We have an individual that is very dishonest here. Four of swords reversed, extremely exhausted, fed, fed up, tired sick of it very 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 sick of it sick of sick of this stagnation sick of sick of laying here waiting sick of it sick of it sick of it we do this is like the death of a situation it is an end it is a major ending okay it's the end of that phase we have an individual that is going to be following their heart in a new direction they're going to be socializing and getting together with somebody else that knows who they what they want I also feel like we have another story here. I feel like I feel like we have a person that is in a position of authority. This could be a judge, a ruler, you know, a director, uh, somebody that is in a position of authority, like that has the authority to make a decision about um, somebody's welfare. Something is going to be taken away. And, it, and, I, and it's because there's some sort of illness here or mental illness or stagnation. I don't know if there is somebody here that is mentally ill that is about to lose something. 
this person has alcohol drug problems or drinking problems or somebody may be ordered to do something with the king of swords that is an order this is an order you know the We have the end of something. A major decision is being made. There's been some dishonesty. Somebody has been, uh, I don't know, I feel like, I know I'm changing the story, but I sat, whenever I see the Eight of Swords, I think about jail, I think about prison. Somebody could end up going to jail because they lied, they stole. You know, there's a lot, there's been some lies. They stole, they did something that was against the law because they, the King of Swords is very lawful. King of Swords is taking something away from an individual that has been lying probably maybe to themselves. <clears throat> there could also be some sort of reunion in the future with the Three of Cups. It is in the future position. There could be a reunion here. Somebody may be reuniting with somebody. Queen of Swords. We now... You know, we got the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. This is a soulmate. When you get two of the same, kind of like the Empress and the Emperor, the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, this is a soulmate. When you get two of the same court, you know, and are right next to each other. Okay, these two are right, 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 right next to each other. And it doesn't matter what sign you are. We have soul. This is a soul. These are soulmates, okay? They are meant to be together. So we have two people. And these could be two people that are making a decision together. We have two people that are coming together after they have been through some sort of lesson. It was a major life lesson. Because the card starts with a major, le the reading starts with a major lesson. A lesson has been learned. It's time to step in the next one. This is with a soulmate. But we have somebody here that has not been receiving what they deserve from an individual that is very much emotionally withdrawn, okay? There's a lack of awareness here. We have the high priestess in reverse. This is unpredictable. There's, there, there is somebody here that has not been listening to their intuition or they've been giving too much They've been listening too much to other or to readers, you know, or psychics or mediums, not listening to themselves. We have somebody here that needs to listen to their intuition. They need to listen to their gut. They're completely unaware that there is something coming. There is something coming that this cycle is over. You know, the cycle is over. That phase is over. Somebody has received some poor advice. Probably from an individual, could be a water sign, could be a Pisces, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They have received, and it, 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 it is definitely, it's all about illusion. They've received some sort of poor advice, you know, that... <laughs> There's going to be a reunion. But there's no reciprocation. But I feel like now there's some sort of clarity, some sort of truth, some sort of realization, some sort of awakening. Somebody has chosen not to wake up and accept the truth because they were fed some sort of illusion from I don't know who. But there's truth here. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, this is truth. It's truth. It's sharp. It hurts. It cuts. Those is, those are, that is the truth that cuts. The truth hurts. Very authentic. We have authentic people here. Very authentic. You can't get more authentic than the Queen and King of Swords. We have authenticity here. This is about the facts, the truth. You have somebody here that has not been waking up. They've been refusing to accept the truth. <sighs> They've been fed illusion. They have. Really sad. Anyhow, and it is sad. 
it is sad but anyhow we're gonna change this we're gonna keep going we have some sort of uh, breaking free because of the world card in the eight of swords reverse that is breaking free opening the eyes stepping outside and stopping the restricting somebody has been restricting themselves they have been confining themselves they've been staying put they've been in denial they've been in mental turmoil because they were in some sort of illusion but now they're seeing something very 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 clearly we have clarity here we have the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth the truth is, it's time to socialize, it's time to get out there, it's time to get together and go after what you deserve. So I do believe that we have a cycle that is ending, where somebody is leaving the past behind, where they were fed an illusion. They're following their heart in a new direction. They're going after what they deserve. They're giving up. They're giving up on, on the fantasy Something is going to be revealed. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed. And there's going to be, you know, a, and I'm going to say reunion with a soulmate. Okay, but this is not the soulmate from that you have, that has not been communicating or has not been opening up. Okay, this is not the soulmate that has kept you bound and caused all the mental turmoil. And I say that. Because this is the end of that cycle. That is leaving that behind. And I know that we have a lot of illusionists watching this reading right now. Okay, I know that because I read my comments. Okay? I have a lot of illusionists and I have a lot of other readers that sell the illusion and people buy it. I can see that with the Six of Pentacles reversed. You know, they have been sold the illusion to hold on. Okay, this right here is the end. It's the end. It is the end. It is the end, okay? This is, it is time to step into your new life. You need to be honest with yourself. <laughs> this just stuck to my arm. Queen of Swords, isn't she a bitch? I'm going to put it right here. I don't think there's going to be a reunion with the past. I don't think there's going to be a reunion with this person that can't master their emotions. That isn't going to give you what you deserve. Because I think there's another soulmate here. And I think there's going to be a reunion with that person. It's time to stop focusing on the loss. Stop focusing on the love that is gone and go in another direction. So anyhow, I do believe that we have grieving over a loss as well. So I do believe that, you know, maybe somebody is going to receive a message that they don't want to hear about a person that they have been told to wait for. This message hurts. This is a major ending. Totally unpredictable. I think we have an unpredictable loss here. Major completion of a cycle. It's time to stop giving to a situation where there's no reciprocation oh my god and that's was the three of swords remember when I saw that three of swords and I said oh my god I can't believe this I believe somebody's gonna receive some news it's not good news and it's gonna cause it's, it has to do with the ending it has to do with the completion it's gonna push them over the edge into the new life into the new existence I feel like we have somebody here that has been socializing perhaps with a soulmate. They have been connecting with a soulmate, but they haven't been receiving or giving. They haven't been giving their full attention. They haven't really been, 
you know, giving their all to this new opportunity because they were reluctant to take a new approach. They were reluctant to open their heart. I mean, I think it's because they received poor advice. They received poor advice from somebody. I do see an upcoming celebration, an upcoming get together between two people that have a lot in common, and I mean a lot. This leads to the end of suffering. This is liberation. It is freedom. I do believe there is something that is going to happen. That's the straw that breaks the camel's back, right? I mean, the Ten of Swords reverse. This is... Uh, It is a liberation. It is freedom. It is freedom from suffering. It is standing up and, and living again. And I did see the Four of Swords, which is the death of a situation. And the Ten of Swords is a death as well. It's over. It's over. Oh, okay. I just cut it again. Three of Swords. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. This hurts so bad. So This is like heartache. It's heart pain. It's suffering. Somebody is going to receive some information that they don't want to hear about somebody that they have been waiting on could even have to, I don't know if there's cheating or what the three of cups can be cheating there could be some gossip there could be some we could have a woman here that just tells the truth you know there is some I, or a woman or a man now there is definitely some sort of truth that is gonna come out and I feel like this truth hurts and I do think this truth leads to a soulmate connection because you can't you can't continue to to lay there and be stomped on and suffer i mean you can you can you can die in that situation if you want or you can choose to get up and and walk away and and live so i do believe we have somebody here that is completing a cycle they are they're completing a cycle they're leaving the past behind they're stepping into a new existence this is a major accomplishment. They have learned a lesson. I feel like this lesson has to do with themselves. You know, it has to do with themselves. And I feel like they, they may have been in a place of shame, you know, ashamed, thinking that it was their fault or whatever. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's time to go. Now we got the Four of Swords again. This is definitely the death of a situation, or it could, I don't know, maybe it could be a death. I mean, I don't know. It's a major completion, a major ending. There's there's some sort of, of uh, news that is coming, okay? There is some sort of news that is coming. It is about an ending, um, and it does lead to a celebration. Maybe it's a celebration of life. I don't know. It leads to a celebration. It leads to two people getting together. It brings two people together. Okay, these two people have a lot in common. Um, what more can I say? Nine of Cups reverse. Deep fulfillment is coming soon. But it's not with the past. It's not. Good luck.